So, you know, one of the challenges in medical device manufacturing is how to cut threads on bone screws. And, um, you know, because of the geometry of the screws, oftentimes the, the cutting is challenging for more conventional threading methods like single point threading. So what most of the medical device manufacturers use is a process called thread whirling. And that's one of the things that the Sagami S206 is particularly strong at. Thread whirling is a type of cutting that's more akin to a milling process. So we have a circular ring with multiple cutters in there that is uh, mounted in the machine on a live tool drive. And that ring rotates around the screw as it's cutting the threads. And basically it's angled to follow the helix angle of the threads. And so what that does, since that the, most of the medical screw threads are very deep thread forms with a lot of tool engagement, they have a tendency to chatter and make bad surface finishes. With a whirling cut, since it's a milling cut, it's interrupted, so those cutters each go in and out of the cut very rapidly and take small chunks of the material out piece by piece so they don't make big, long, continuous shavings. It makes nice short chips, which are easy to process through the machine, and it's a much faster way of cutting a bone screw thread, which typically might take you know, quite a bit of time with single point threading just because of the nature of the cut. It has a tendency to create bad surface finishes and so on. Uh, this machine's a very heavy 20 millimeter Swiss turn. Um, the, the increased rigidity and mass of the machine allows us to cut faster, uh, higher feed rates. We get longer tool life and better surface finishes on these parts using our whirling process. And one of the really unique things about this model machine is the fact that it has the capability of storing two uh, thread whirling units at the same time. So a lot of these type uh, 20 millimeter Swiss turn machines would only have the room to store one of those in there. So what this allows us to do is um, to cut multiple thread leads on, on either a family of parts that might have different sizes or one of the things that's becoming a trend in modern bone screw manufacture is oftentimes the single screw might have more than one thread lead on it. And so this allows us to process both of those threads by whirling where in the past somebody might have to use a slower single point threading process to create the second thread.